Wait, so what happened to their mother? How did her their mother end up with Hawk or Miles? And I'm back at it, back at it again with the seven deadly sins on Netflix. And this time I'm back with season five, episode two, called "A Meeting with the Unknown." Okay. And last time we left off with Bond finally reconnected with Meliodas' feeling, and the battle for Elizabeth has started, and the battle between Merlin. Escanor and all them people versus the teachers of uh, Meliodas and his brother started but they just got a little taste for each other they just feeling each other out kind of thing that was last time so remember that if you like what you see go ahead and subscribe for more give this video a like comment down below any opinions thoughts that you had about what I had to say or about the episode we're go going to watch but anyways enough of that let's jump into Season 5, Episode 2 of The Seven Deadly Sins called A Meeting with the Unknown. I obviously came here to find you and bring you back home. Wait a second, you know of a way back? Is that what you're saying? Are you that stupid? You recklessly dove in here without knowing how to get back out again? Give me a break. What did you expect? I had no choice. I couldn't leave you alone in this crap. Ah, look at him! Loyalty. What some people don't understand. Maybe somebody got hurt. Yep, two heads are better than one. Let's do it! <laughs> that just shows, no matter how bad the situation is, no matter how things look like, how bad they feel like, as long as you have one real friend, one true wild die, everything will be good, everything will be fine, things can be fun. Damn. Here I go, Fox Hunt! Captain, it's heading towards you now! This one seems to understand the situation. It must be its natural instinct. Damn, he weak! Well, I'm just Meliodas' emotions after all. So I'm kind of like a soul. If we try to escape here together, I'm only gonna be a burden to you. Oh damn. <sighs> then I guess I'll have to carry you on my back. Damn. The curse my father placed on me, I'm torn away from my true form each time I die and mm. sent here. Well, what does he get by doing that? Father wishes for me to be a successor, but my emotions get in the way of that happening. That's why he wants to erase them. It's basically saying for him, emotions is just a burden. They're useless. It's a burden. And that's how he became captain. And he became captain for so long that emotions are more health hurtful than anything that's why what he needs right now is somebody that's willing to say i'll carry those emotions for you don't don't worry i can handle your burden i'm strong enough kind of thing i think i'll take it personally We're rocking a new look, huh? Alrighty, but where did they get the clothes? The material for the clothes? What the hell? Hey, I've got a question for you. What do you think's the first thing you'll do when we get back to the living world? First, I'll break Elizabeth's curse. And after that, I'm gonna drink Bernie Ale to my heart's content. I'll go and absolutely drown myself in Aberdeen Ale. Nice. Can't argue with that one. <laughs> you sure see eye to eye, huh? Yeah, they just want to drink and spend some time with their girl. That's it. That's all they're looking for. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And maybe have a kid or two. I'm just saying. Suppose I could take care of one more. Damn! This. this guy's meat tastes amazing. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, that was funny. But damn, Bon OP? Is Bon OP right now? Maybe. Or oh, Meliodas is just that weak. Humans were definitely not built to survive here in purgatory at all. 
Let alone with their sanity intact. I bet you're the first and last. Then maybe it's also thanks to the shitty environment I grew up in. Sort of like I had a head start. That's not what I was talking about either. Your experience here, enduring all those hard... Stop! Stop! Oh, it's cringe! Stop giving him compliments! It's just cringe! I'm not used to it. You say I'm impressive, but you'll be invincible once you get your real body back, Captain. <laughs> there isn't a better team out there, so let's- Are they drunk? Is that why they're so... touchy? Yeah, let's go with that. I am the Great Warrior Wild! I have been wandering here in search of my younger brother separated at birth. Another annoying character. You're telling me that you know someone who looks like my handsome self? Oh, he way more than just looks like you. Anyone with eyes could see it. Seriously, you guys are practically clones. His wailing sounds exactly the same as Hawks when he's got diarrhea. <laughs> Impressive. You carved out all this by yourself? I had time. And you all are my very oh. first guests. I mean, how long has you been there? If you have all the time in the world, does anything you do really die impressive? I can't believe that it's been over 8 billion years already <laughs> since my dear brother Miles was taken. As soon as he was born, he was kidnapped by the Demon King. I couldn't stop it. Wait, so what happened to their mother? How did her, their mother end up with Hawk or Miles? Mr. Bond, tell me more about Miles. No, I mean Hawk. Please tell me more about Hawk. I'm sure he must have grown to be so wonderful and strong. Are they not gonna explain the mother, the big pig? <laughs> okay, he is annoying, but no, I was wrong. He's not even annoying. He's nothing like his brother. <laughs> oh no, what's wrong? I say I like him better than his brother. Sorry about that. I started running my mouth and I should have pumped the brakes. Hey, truth can be hard to handle. Even if he's not what I thought. Even if the paths we've walked were completely different all this time. Still my brother. None of it changes the fact that he's my precious younger brother. I like him. I like him. I was completely wrong about him. He's not annoying at all. I can't defend you from here on, so stand back. Right, I will. No, put him in the front so he can just die already. I just want him, I just want him dead already. Come on. Well, why don't you tell us how you really feel? <laughs> what happened to me? M my body was pulled in. <sighs> Henderson! Ah. If you want to pull me in that badly... I don't mind coming to you willingly. However, you should know I've already seen through your swordsmanship. Are you sure about that? Yeah. Yeah. I'm conflicted. I want him to lose, but yet he's on our side. What's this? You choose now to try and get it? <laughs> the authority to bark orders at me that is beyond impertinent who are you to utter such arrogance now you ask i am eskinor the lion of sin <laughs> simply deplorable well i am ludosiel the leader of the four archangels of the goddess good for you i couldn't care less that right come on eskinor just cooperate with him for now i'd be glad to what so you'll take orders from that woman but not from me miss merlin is just that ex that's right! I like it! I like that! That's a good scene! That's like, man, I really wish them together. And that was it for today's episode. Okay! That was one of my favorite scenes. Escanor arguing with the... With the angel, I forgot his or her name. But arguing with the angel. And then uh, Merlin just stepping in saying, yeah, just do it. Just listen to him. Just help him out. Like, okay, it's like that's just man, asking her giving the attitude towards an angel that's godlike. 
and like not giving a fuck kind of thing even though the situation is kind of dire and still not listening to to him until Merlin decides to tell him something he's like hey just listen to him it's like okay yeah it's like eh. and even the uh the demon even the demons were surprised like wow he doesn't listen to him do you know who he is basically kind of added to that they reacted with it's like that was funny but i really want to know what we're gonna do next what's the angel of the captain of the angels or whatever his name is i wonder what's what is his plan and i want to know what's happening with the battle for elizabeth we didn't see that at all this episode and also you're telling me that meliodas and bond and um mild no and wild that's his name he's not annoying I take that back. He's one of my favorite characters. Wild? Come on now. I like him. Uh, I wonder. They said that they were going to go see the Demon King. Why would they? It's not like he's going to be like, oh yeah, let me help out Meliodas and give him back his emotions. So I really want to know what's going to happen next with that situation. Well, hopefully we find that out in the next episode. But for now, that was it for today's video. Remember to like, subscribe. Comment down below any opinions, thoughts that you had about what I had to say or about the episode we just watched. And remember, don't get stuck in the BS. Find your laughter after. Bye!